Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's only gone and bloody fixed it. So, <laughs> yeah, I used um, a slightly different Voxcom, and um, yeah, I'll show you in a minute what I did in the programming. But uh, yeah, if we open up, oh, and drop the key on the floor, you muppet. Um, right, so we'll put both windows up. Let me get inside and make it easier. Both windows up, like so, like so. If now I open the door, the little blighter drops. Hey, let me just show it's on the fluke. There you go, she drops. And then when I shut it, boop, up it goes again. I'll tell you what, it's just, it's little moments like this that make you happy. Right, let me show you how I did it. Actually, before I do that, I want to make sure the roof works right. Let's pull the button, what happens? Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? I'll tell you what, I'm easily pleased, I know. But this has been a long, hard slog. I mean, you've got to appreciate the fact it's now fixed. It's just, oh, that's just brilliant. Right, so all that's worked. Clippy, clippy. Clip, clippy. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it left me in suspense there for a minute. Wow. That is, um, yeah. That's happiness right there. Right, let me go and show you how I did it. Oh, look, I'll show you in a minute how I did it. But look at this. Oh, that's not working yet. All right, not too excited. But the comfort closing. Ah, the comfort closed just worked and now it won't work again. Oh, okay, this is going to fight me. Let's just make sure. Yeah, okay, that still works. That still works. Oh, the comfort closing did work. You have to believe me. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll mess about with it. Let me show you what I did. Really, this time. Honestly, I'm going to. So let me quickly just take you through what I did. Um, so you want to go into the Roxcom itself, go into the body module, go to the hydro hydraulic hardtop. So we'll click on there like that. Wait for it to connect. Uh, put the key ignition. Maybe it needs that. There we go. Nothing's ever easy when you're trying to demonstrate. So we're checking the interface. Good. Right. The problem I had originally is I hadn't got... Let me just stick stick that there. Because I hadn't got this version running. I'd got another version running on a virtual server. And it didn't enable me to have... Oops. This is not easy. It didn't have the programming button enabled. Which is the key. Certainly for this task. Let me move you around a bit. Let's try it again. So that programming button is the key. If it's not lit up, then you need that version. It's got to be that version. Uh, certainly for this car anyway. Maybe different for other ones. Um, so right. You click on programming. And it's a very basic screen. So all you do, I'm not going to do it. But you press driver side door, it will come up with a box that makes no sense whatsoever. I'll do it quickly, but I won't OK it. So it will come up with that. Boxcom OK. So you OK it three times, and then a yes box will come up in exactly the same place. Let me take some glare off the screen a bit to help you. So yeah, that comes up three times. Press it three times, then press yes, and it's good. Now what I did, and whether this makes any difference, I have no idea. I enabled the assembly mode. To me, that says when they're building the car, um, that is to set the windows, I, I guess. Who knows? Um, but yeah, basically click on driver's side door, press the OK three times, press yes. I did the same for the passenger side door and, and all started working. So that is the screen. Um, and the key, let's just close that. I do not want to do not want to do it again and mess it up. Oh, oh God, it's... Please go away. Oh, all right. I think I'm going to have to press yes. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I did. Um, right, I'll have to check a bit later that, uh, that it hasn't messed anything up. Um, but that is the key. Um, that programming tab there needs to be lit up. Oh, Mr. Tesco. Um, that's how I fixed it. Um, like I say, my other one doesn't have that function. The programming isn't lit up, and that is really the key. Right, I'm not going to waffle anymore. If you need any help on this, please uh, IM me. That, that's fine. 
it's just been a long hard slog but I'm there the engine works fine the windows all work fine and it was quite an easy fix in the end aren't they all but finding it that's the problem right thanks for joining me internet um, from one happy person with a Tigra that works now I will bid you a good day it's sunny out so hope you're gonna enjoy it cheers all bye bye so I think I can now finally finish off the last few jobs and maybe have a little bit of fun in it sun's out today it's a top-down kind of day so thanks for joining me through all this anguish and torment hopefully you've learned something from it and if you're having problems with tigras I'm becoming a bit of an expert now <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at all but if I can help anybody with any of these videos or any knowledge I'll be happy because I've learned a lot um, especially about the programming side as well and resetting the ECUs and the body control module everything else it has been a big learning curve and it, this one's been a challenge but yeah now it's finished I'm a little more relaxed Anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, catch up with you soon. Cheers into that.